we're back again. Day 20? I don't know. Um, I've just taped up my toe. And I just gotta pack up and then we're gonna hit the road. So, let's roll. Here's Upper Church. I'm currently on this hill here, camped out. And I'm gonna head along. I haven't actually <coughs> decided how far I want to go today. Um, because I want to see how my feet are. But I'd like to get probably as far as Temple Dairy at the very least. And then I'd be following the Nina River, which might be nice for a little while. And off towards Kulakari and Tumavara. we go. As you can see the Ormond Way isn't exactly overly well walked or well kept to be honest and hasn't been so far. Um, I don't think I will. I'm gonna go this way. Thanks. But no thank you. Just stopped to get some water and this is the first water source I've come across in about four days. Um, I've been building up in outdoor taps and that sort of thing. So I'm um, gonna make use of it while I'm here. I'm actually gonna drink a load of water and then fill up my bottles. So. So many nettles. Well, sheep. Oh. Oh. Steep with sheep. It's harder than the legs. Time for some sun cream because it is seriously hot again today. Not as hot though, there's a bit of a breeze, so it's quite nice. But still, it's very warm. So, sun cream time. Tipperary is a lot hillier than I expected. 300 kilometers! Taking me nearly three weeks, that's pretty damn poor, but hopefully we'll get moving now. Woo. I've just ducked off the road and it's time for lunch. Still there. Don't you just love the smell of fresh, ripe slurry? Lovely. So far, the Ormond Way has been absolutely terribly waymarked. <laughs> um, it's obviously not walked very much because all the styles and that are pretty much completely grown over. Um, and any of the off-road sections, there's very little by way of way marking um, 
in fact, right now I'm looking to see where am I going. Uh, but it's nice all the same. I have a guidebook and I also have a hiker app on my phone. And the only reason I'm using that app is because the Ireland Way doesn't seem to be on any other uh, trails app. But in a lot of places it just doesn't bother following what the actual trail is and it just hits the road so I don't know what that's about um, so generally I'm, I'm following what the guidebook says uh, which actually follows the waymark trails throughout the country okay Well, the boots are waterproof, uh, so sweet. Yeah, it's actually getting annoying because I've just wasted a good 40 minutes following what apparently used to be the trail, uh, but it's no longer. So, yeah, they still, they've got way markers where they don't need them, and none where they do. What exactly does that mean? Well, look who decided to show up. Ah, oh, come on, give us a break. Into the jungle. Hmm. Shorts weren't a great choice for this sort of thing, but uh, I didn't exactly expect this. I'm all stung and spiked, but thankfully, cleared. No need for that. God damn it. Well, that was no fun. Oh, he'll earn a break. <sighs> right, I'm in camp for the night, um, and I've decided. I'm just going to camp out. I'm not going to bother with the tent tonight because it's not going to rain. Um, so I'm just going to throw up the my sleeping pad and I probably probably put it on top of the footprint for the tent just so it doesn't get punctured again. So that's me all set up for the night. Hopefully, nothing decides to join me in my sleeping bag. I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay, since I did that, um, the horse flies or clags have come out in great numbers. So <laughs> I've decided I'm just going to pitch the inner of the tent so I can still see up and see the sky in the night when I'm asleep. I can see it before I go to bed. That's it. And that's me 
done for the day. Done about 25 kilometers. The new boots are fantastic. Uh, the no pains in my Achilles tendons and the blisters at least are staying dry aside from the bit of sweat which is minimal compared to how wet they were getting before so again thanks for coming along hope you enjoyed the day and until tomorrow Sloan.